So what we're going to work on, so does anybody want water? I do. Okay. Let's take a break and get some water. Oh, oh. I was trying to bounce it in the, on his, uh, in front of him. I mean, believe it and or not, then it gets, we get deeper and deeper, and, and the more excited we get, the more power we put, yeah. the, exactly, more gr yeah. the more we grip. What if I... I no, you don't need to do that. Uh-uh. Okay, thank you. I don't like that because when you get better, you're not going to want to do that. People that start, sometimes start with that finger back there, and they like it, they love it, and then they get better, and then they don't like it, and they're trying to break their habit from doing that, that, that they realize it's not. I'm trying to break not, this habit still. That's about, you, and that habit, she was doing that, had her finger there, her thumb up on the side. Yeah. When you do a backhand and somebody hits you a hard one, um, yeah, so if you good. hold your finger like that, and I come in here and uh, and I hit a ball like just like just just hold your paddle. If I smack that, you know, it's it's gonna go. So what happens is because I used to hold my paddle like that, and I might do that for for a point. Like I might just roll that because I want some power on that that edge right there, and I might put my finger there. But if I'm doing this and somebody hits a ball. More than likely, I don't have any. Yeah. I'm going to lose my paddle. I've had it almost fall out of my hand before, so I do this. But, do that or, I but I, or I'll keep my thumb right there. So if I'm going to do a backhand and I want to do a roll over the net, I, I might, I might just for extra power and angle, do that. But it's if I'm doing a crosser, yeah, you want, you want it right there, and you just want that, yeah. So you just want it just like that. Do I want it further down? You, you could have it, you know, depends where you want it. Some people want to grip it up right. here. The problem with here, a lot of times the ball will come and smack you in the... In the uh, My hand's so much bigger than yours anyway that I take up the whole grip. Yeah, you take up the whole grip. See, yeah, I'm, I might, I'm like, we talked about that before, like your hand size is, mine's seven and yours is probably ten. But with your grip, I mean, because of your strength, you're more than likely be able to do that. Yeah. But I wouldn't do that because yeah. as you get better, and you pl it is. And this is because I've had it where I was playing and it bit my finger all the way back. Oh, my goodness. And, and so I said, I'm not doing that anymore. And that was in the beginning. So we're going to we're going to like play a game. So um, so it'll be you two and we'll do the same partners that we did in this drill. So you're going to be on the opposing side. And I'm going to work on on. So you'll you'll be with your partner. So now you've worked with your partner on drilling and warming up. You kind of know each other a little bit about how you play and seeing each other move. So we're going to play a game. And, and through this game, we're going to learn to serve. So, but we're going to learn to serve while we play. So um, usually in here, it's the outside court starts to serve. So we'll just let them start serving. So the lineup is when you're serving the ball, both partners are behind the baseline when you're serving. You, when you serve, if you're, you're the first server, the right side of the court serves first or receives first. When you serve, you can't have your foot on the, that's a foot fault, so that's a, it's a fault, it's no results in no point, no serve. If you, if you follow through and you put your foot over into the court, it's a fault. You can stand anywhere you want. But we don't do that because the serve has to bounce once, and then the return of serve has to bounce once. Return serve has to be diagonal. Return of serve can be anywhere on the court. Can can even bounce anywhere on the court. So the return can hit the net and bounce right here as long as it's in. Doesn't matter. It's a good ball. A serve can hit the net when you serve the ball. Can hit that as long as it crosses the non volley the non volley line right here the kitchen line a serve can hit the center line and a serve can hit the sideline and the serve can hit the baseline just just not this not not the non volley zone it has to clear that and it can't come in contact with the line at all 
but any other line, face line, side line, center line, it can hit. And then the serve is done like we did the ground strokes. Yep. It's underhand. So you're, you're not going to serve a, a standard serve and hit it sideways. So there's no, there's no serving the ball and striking it like this unless you do a drop serve where you just let the ball drop. There's no downward pressure on the ball. You just let it drop. Then you can come in and you can hit it sideways. So depending on what you want to learn, a drop serve or standard serve, depends on how you can hit the ball legally in pickleball. But we're gonna, right now we're going to work on the standard serve and the underhand volley type style motion. And they're going to start. Your position when you're receiving the serve is you're going to be up here. So you're standing here. And your position can be the center. So you're going to guard all of this territory. And then also, the forehand in the middle is also guarding this territory. And his position is here, and maybe a backhand, and then all of this. After you volleyed, Matt after, you, after said, you serve. Because when they come back, don't you wait a, a second before you completely come all the way up? Well, right now, she's, she's serving to you. Okay. Let's just say they're serving the ball right, to you. Right. Her stance is here. Right. Your stance okay. is to okay. return yeah, the yeah. serve. Got it. Okay. okay. I thought you meant when I serve. When, when you serve, you both are back. You, I said you could stand anywhere, but you don't want to because you want to let the ball bounce before you hit it. So I always say both partners on a serve should be standing behind the baseline and then waiting for that in your ready position, waiting for the ball to be returned. So you know how to approach it to get a good center shot up centered with your body to get the ball back over the net. Once you return it after the bounce, the ball can be played after a bounce. It can be played in the air. So after it's served on a bounce, served and it bounces and a return it bounces, then you can hit the ball at, in a volley out of the air. As long as you're not standing here in the kitchen, you cannot hit a ball in the air in the kitchen. You have to be behind the kitchen line to hit it. If you hit it here and you fall in, it's a fault. If you hit it and you and your glasses or your shoes or your hat fall in, you have to, it's a fault. If you didn't, if you were all falling like this and the ball comes out, you have to regain your position outside the ball. If, even if you, if you dink the ball and you come in here, you have to regain outside before you can hit a volley. So that'll come after you play a while. Like what's the rules of, was I in the kitchen? Was I not in the kitchen? If I touch the line, am I in the kitchen? Yes. That's a kitchen. That's a kitchen. Any part of that line. If you're like this, you're not in the kitchen. If you're like this, you're in the kitchen. Because it's assumed that you're, you're, you're just not. Because a lot of people can take a ball and, and then jump across. Because you can jump across. You can jump outside over here. You can run out here and put the ball away. And they call that around the post. So you're not stuck playing in this thing. If the ball comes wide on the serve, you might have to be way out here to return it. You just have to return it back into the court, the playing area. So the blue here is the playing area. We're going to get you to serve first. Keeping score. And we're going to keep score. We're going to play. So I'm going to say 0-0-2. Zero, zero, well, actually, no. we, we probably aren't going to keep score. Because okay, I'm going to let you Fabulous. do. We're not going to keep score, but I'm going to let you. We're gonna play it out. We're gonna play the we're gonna play the serve out, and then you're we're gonna stop, and then you're gonna serve it again, and we're gonna play the point out, and then you're gonna do it three times, and then it's gonna to go to his serve for three times, and then it's gonna come back over here. Who's serving first? Then she'll serve first. So Linda's gonna, uh, uh, Laurie's gonna serve first. Well, he, she said we're not gonna. I said that, and then she said we're not gonna. Keep. You can practice. Oh, I want to go to so bad. You can practice. Zero zero one. Zero zero two. Okay, that's short. So let's let's talk about let's talk about the illegal serve you got going on. That's what my husband would be happy to say here. Yes. Okay. So let's let's take this ball. Let's do this. We're gonna use that. Okay. So your serve, you're gonna drop it and hit it, right? Regular serve. Okay. 
You're kind of standing with your hips facing towards Both your core. Feet. Well, I, I always like to keep my right foot back because I like to load up my right hip and then move in. Okay. But it's just like a ground stroke that we were doing earlier. Yep. So it's in, it's underhand, and it's clear the kitchen. Okay. That was a little short, but so okay. just use some more power. So I'm dropping. You're dropping your shoulder. Your shoulder's going to be in here. Put You're on. moving your weight. I'm dropping it from here. When you can, you can drop the ball any, anywhere you want. I usually, I usually just do that. Okay. But you can't. But no sideways. Okay. And unless you. I'm just gonna. Yep. There you go. That's perfect. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. So now she understands. She's serving. She gets three tries. And then every serve is a playable ball. That's past the. That clears the kitchen. That's good. So Craig, you're gonna run up on that. I know. I know. We talked about that, but that's okay. So you stay back. Yeah, and then when it comes, I'm gonna tell you to run, or to tell you to stay. Because a lot of times we don't know where that return is. Okay, no, you're good. Right there. Right there. Right there. And that's out. Let it go. All right. We just got a point. We got a point. All right, Craig, don't be so happy. Come on, I'm it's only one point. When, when you have 10 points. Up. See, the thing is, now we don't have any, we don't have any forehands in the middle because she, she's right and he's lefty. So then at that point. So I've had a serve three times. I've had three fabulous, wonderful serves. Okay, come on. All right. It's going to come right back around. Okay, what's wrong? Maybe I should bounce. Well, if, if your bounce is just a drop. Oh. So you can't, you can't, a drop serve is a complete, if you drop serve, it's just let it go. You cannot apply any up motion or downward motion. Okay. Oh. Very good. That ball's good. Hit it. Craig, get ready. There again, wait, pay attention when it comes back. Think about, me, me no, no hurt him. Me. All right, that was out. So you're up, you're up here, you're going to serve. He said, no, no, no. Tell me something's changed. You serve beyond the kitchen line, return is a bounce, and then, then it's game on. Let it bounce. There you go. Oh, she wanted that. That's a problem. <laughs> We're going to show you how to fix that. It won't be a problem forever. Very good. Very good. Oh, oh, okay. Let that go. Let that go. I'll get it. I'll get it. I think it was that three? Yeah. Okay. Her serve. Y'all stay back. Dan, you stay back. So serve is underhand. Yep. And follow through just like, yep. And then move up. How's out? You get to serve again. Very good serve. Oh, that was out. Relax. There you go. Move in there, Kirk. That's right. Good. That's right. Yep. Very good. Ah! Ah! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So, oh, people have. People have. They definitely have. Yeah, you start. No, she's out. She's done. Side, side out. We're gonna. <laughs> Follow through with that shoulder. 
Uh-huh. Follow through when you hit that. So I have to snap the snap. Yeah. Okay. So don't don't stop it. Just let that okay. gradually the same amount of pressure when you when you hit it, you just follow through with that. You no need to speed it up after. Oh. 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 Oh, Craig, you. So what happens with that? So, so that's a good ball, a ball that the ball that drew. As long as it, if the ball fell over and it hit that bar like that, that would be a redo, because um, it was the the bar caused interference. But a ball that goes like that, it's a playable ball. I don't see how, but yeah, I got it. It is. <laughs> if your partners are quick, and you will get quick, because you'll be watching. You can come in here and then just, when that dribble's over, you can just come in here and lightly dink it up. You, th it's almost, you think it's impossible, but it's, poss it's possible to get it over the net from that close. Sorry. Follow through that shoulder. Give it, some, give it a little bit more kick. Wind up with that. Get your load, load, load that back leg and follow through. Oh, I want to read it. All right, Craig, your serve. Here, give me that. Don't serve with that ball. Well, I was going to stick it in my Here, pocket. use that one. Use those. Good ball. Good return. Move up, Craig. Move up. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit it? No, that's fine. Uh, I'm asking a question, but. Go ahead. It's out. Or, you know, it's going to go out, but I play it. Then that, it, you just keep playing it, right? If, if, no, if the ball bounces, if it bounces out, if the ball you return, anybody returns a ball and it bounces and it's out, it's a dead ball. If the ball was going out and I hit it in the air, it's a good ball. Even though I'm clearly out. I'm clearly standing out because nobody knows for sure whether the ball is going to bounce out or not. So if you take a ball from out here in the air, it's a playable ball. If the ball bounces out here and you hit it, it's, a, it's out. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. If, if it bounces and I hit it. Right. It's out. Right. So that doesn't mean, okay. And somebody should call it because beginners aren't going to know, was it really, was it out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If then I you should say, oh, oh, that was, I hit it, but that was out. It was clearly out. You would get the ball back. Okay, so if I hit it and I say out, it's okay. It's not if I hit it, then I forfeit the out. No, you can say it's out. Your partner can say it's out. They can say it's out. Well, we had this happen the other day, so it was deep, and right as it hit, I, I was already starting to hit it, so I said out, but I was already in the motion of hitting it, but I had said, I said out, I hit it. It was like out, and then, you know what I'm saying? What did, had it, would you hit it in the air? No, Before, it bounced. Oh, it bounced. It bounced and then, right. but I was already in, like, Yeah, it's but fine. Out. It's out. Yeah. We clearly know the ball, once it hits yes. the ground, and it's out, it's out. No, what I'm asking is, let's say I know it's out. Right. But I 